Okay, hit it. Hi everyone, Quayo here, welcoming you back to play once more. And we're gonna play Mega Man X2 for the SNES. Um, probably the easiest, uh, or pretty close to being the easiest out of uh, all, all the Mega Man games. Or at least the X series. And, uh, by, by the way, I got a new microphone. And, uh... Ah. And, well, basically it's on a little stand right now, so I, I at least, uh... <coughs> sorry, pardon me, I'm losing my voice a bit. I at least uh, don't have to, you know, uh... Like, walk, sit like an idiot. So yeah, anyway, we're probably playing the, I don't know, I'd say it's probably my favorite, not only in the X series, this game, but maybe in the entire franchise, mainly because I really like the atmosphere in this game. And we're already fighting our first boss. Ooh, nope. Sorry about that. This guy's really easy. All you have to do is really stand up here. He can't really hurt you from up here. There you go. First boss is usually pretty easy. Sorry, I'm losing my, losing my voice, guys. Uh, I just uh, just had some ice cream. So, yeah, uh, basically this uh, Mega Man game, uh, or this Mega Man X game, it introduces uh, this little side questing you can do. If you haven't played the first one, you met a, you met a guy named Zero, and uh, I guess these guys have all Zero's parts, so uh, the game suggests I get them, so that's what I'm going to do, I am going to get them. If you don't get them, get a different ending, I want to get the good ending. I, I, that's what I usually tend to get anyway. And of course this game has its uh, heart tanks, that one's like really hidden up there, it's probably not the thing you'll find, the very first thing you'll find in the game. And right now I suck at this game, I haven't played it in a while. And we're going to get ourselves a life here. I've had the time of my life. And that, what you just saw was a sub tank. Damn it. The more life energy pellets you get, uh, it adds up to you uh, to sub tanks, but you can use it later, so that's always nice. And I guess when it's when it's raining, there's like a wind or something. And when it's sunny, I guess the guys are stronger. So you gotta watch out. And, uh, this Mega Man game, I think in all Mega Man games, you kind of kind of got to follow uh, all these bosses' patterns. This guy's pretty easy. When he's doing that, I like to just stand at the side. And, uh, ooh, I didn't, ooh, fuck. Ooh, okay. He's eventually gonna do this, uh, thing where he's invincible for, like, two seconds, or actually, like, 30 seconds. And, uh, basically, I just, all I do is just stand at the side. 
It's really annoying when this guy's in the middle. Yeah, this thing I was talking about. It's really annoying when he's in the middle and he's doing that uh, climb the or rope to the ceiling thing. Because if you jump under him, he's going to drop right on you. And you need a lot of room to dodge those uh, little pellet things. Like that. Uh, but uh, we pretty much got this guy. There we go. Wow, I, I thought that I would have to end the video right here. I went through this pretty fast. And we got the strike chain. Now the thing about this game is that it can be broken. Case in point, right here in this stage, um, the strike chain uh, can really kind of break the game a bit. And it's not just the strike chain, it's uh, a couple other things too. We're about to come up to the one part right here. I, I'm actually going to suck at this part right here. I might have to cut cut this part out. Oop, no. Nope. Hang on. Fuck. Okay, then. Fuck, I almost got that. Okay, you don't want to get hit by that guy. There we go, we got it. That's what you're supposed to do, and that's what bra that breaks the game. Like, tech by breaking, I mean that... I wouldn't call it a glitch, but that's not the way you're supposed to get it. You're supposed to get the boot armor to get that. Get this, uh, get up here. So, and it's a lot easier, as you can see. Obviously, the designers wouldn't be that much of an asshole to uh, make getting up here so hard. But yeah, we got the first upgrade in the game. And we get to do that awesome power shot. Um, but I think I'm going to end it off right here. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for uh, part 2 of Mega Man X2. Uh, this is Quayo signing out. Have a good day. Oh yeah, thanks for watching and tell your friends about me.